happy day, I'm glad to And I am back with some more Sally Face, sooner than I thought I was gonna be because I read the comments and you guys were low-key fiending for some more Sally Face. So we're gonna find out what's going on with the baloney at this school. I know it sounds weird, but we need to- we need to get to the bottom of it. Something isn't right. I'm here with Larry in Mrs. Packerton's classroom, and I'm going to look in this drawer. The drawer is locked, and last time we figured out that the code is 3.14, so we're just gonna quickly put that in. Yeah! Got it open! Nice one, dude. What's inside? Just a bunch of math papers in- hold on. There's a hidden compartment. Man, there's some freaky stuff in here. What is it? So we've got some spices. Maybe used for cooking, maybe used for bologna. I don't know why you would keep your bologna spices right next to a skull here. This thing, a strange metal object similar to Jim's puzzle box. This could be important, we're gonna take it. There's another one of these metal boxes, like the- Oh, is it happening again? Yeah, I- I'm in the white place again. And I don't know what this thing is saying. I don't, I can't. I can't make this out. Um, subs. Okay, it's not backwards, it's not forwards. Draw it. What that did? I don't know. Are you sure? You could just be dehydrated. You didn't eat anything for lunch either. It's done. Huh? It's already over. But. Never mind. Let's go check in with Todd and Ashley. Let's just ignore this episode that I just had. Let's go check on the baloney experiments in the lab. Hey guys, we found some sketchy things in Packerton's desk. How are the tests coming? We're not getting any signs of harmful chemicals or bacteria. However, I think we can all agree there's something peculiar going on here. Whatever it is, let's not mention this to Chug for now. The poor kid almost had a heart attack when they stopped serving meatloaf. Yeah, Ash is right. Let's keep this under wraps until we know for sure what's going on. Well, I guess we know what we have to do now. Damn, I'm gonna miss the action again. I have to watch Ben until my parents get home. Maybe I can get out after that, though? Whatever, Ash, you always miss out on everything. Later that day. I'll need a few minutes to get it ready. That's cool. I have to take care of something first anyway. Okay, let's meet up in Todd's room once everyone's ready. Yes, perfect. Cool. All right, I guess I'm on my own for a little bit. I get to explore the building once again. Addison's tea, 50 cents per cup. Hey, 25 cents per tenant? I was like, did they raise the price on the Addison tea here? The tea here that is very weird. There's something, there's something weird in the tea. There's something weird in the water. There's something weird in the bathrooms upstairs. And there's something really weird going on with the baloney. Mr. Addison. Good evening, Sally. How are you on this fine day? Hey, Mr. Addison. I'm good. How are you? It's been a while. I'm swell, young sir. Okay, well, um, do you like the new sign? I see you put it up there. I love it. Thanks to you and Larry, it almost feels like I have my own little tea house now. I do miss giving out my tea to tenants. However, I simply can't afford to keep up with that. Yeah, the tea here flies like hotcakes. Puts you right out, too. I'm glad you like it, and I think it's totally reasonable to charge for the tea. Everyone understands. That's wonderful to hear. <laughs> Are there any new tenants? in this building, I'd like to know. I'm afraid not, though we do have someone coming back to look at a room next week, so hope is on the horizon, I suppose. I'm sure your luck will improve soon, Terrence, and if there's anything you ever need help with, don't hesitate to ask. That's very kind of you, Sal. Thank you, I'll keep that in mind. All right, well, it looks like me and Mr. Addison are on good terms right now. Bye, Mr. Addison. Good day. Okay, see ya. I wish he would come out of his little slot hole every once and again. 104, no one lives there. There's security cameras now, of course, because of all the weird stuff that's been going on in these apartments. Hello, sweet old lady, hi. Mrs. Rosenberg, what do you have to tell me today, you old, you old wrinkle? Oh, hello, dear Sally. You sound tired, are you okay? Yes, yes, I'm quite fine. I was just a bit distracted by my thoughts. You know me. Oh, I certainly do. Did you finish that book you were reading? I did. You seem to be enjoying it. What's wrong? You didn't like the ending? Most story endings are a lie we tell ourselves to create a false sense of hope. What do you mean? Why are you so depressing all the time? There are no happy endings in real life, Sal. We all get the same terrible ending. Death. You can't know that for sure, Rose, and even if that were true, doesn't that make life even more precious? Like, come on, glass half full. It's our one chance to shine as brightly as we can before the long night claims us. That's why I try to live the best life I can, just in case it's the only one I get. Not for you, my boy. Huh? Oh, never mind, child. I admire your optimistic view of life. It's something I had lost long ago, I'm afraid. Well, that was a very 
impactful, enlightening. Anything else? Take care of yourself, Sally. Okay. Are you sure you don't have anything? Oh, okay. No, that's it. Before I leave... Ah. I'm a little scared to check what the gear boy is saying, but here we go. <laughs> Mrs. Rosenberg? Hello? She left me a letter. Where are you? Mrs. Rosenberg? Goodbye, Rose. I get the feeling that you're ready for this. Whatever it is. I hope that wherever you are, you're happy now. Huh, there's a letter here with my name on it! That's weird. The envelope is empty. Sweet old lady! What do you want, Sal? I just wanted to see how you were doing. It haven't checked up on my neighbors in a while. I may be old, but I can take care of myself. Thank you very much. Hmm. Okay. Really appreciate that, Mrs. Gibson. What is it now? Oh, <laughs> um, I, I wanted to tell you that if you ever needed someone to talk to, let me know. I mean, I know you're a strong, capable woman, but just in case is all. Oh, what do you think I am? Some helpless weak? <sighs> I mean, well, thanks, so. But I'm fine on my own. Now if you'll excuse me! I have the nicest neighbors. They're, I just, I love living here. It's wonderful. Let's see what's on the second floor. No one ever did move back into this room. I guess Addison is having trouble getting new tenants. You know, after all the murders, the blood, the ponies, all that stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to move here either. Charlie's old place. This is where he used to sit. This is where I poisoned him with tea. Man, that smell is still lingering. I'm definitely not going in there. This is where Charlie took donkey shits. Well, nothing going on in Charlie's room, which is good. I, I was hoping I wouldn't run into anything, to be quite frank with you. Security cameras everywhere. At least if something bad happens, it'll be caught on camera now. Todd's place. Todd, how's the baloney going? Oh, it's locked. That's his parents' room. Can't walk in on his parents' room. Todd, how's it going? Are you ready? Um, not yet. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna explore the building a little bit. Larry is not open to conversation right now. Is there anything going on in Todd's- Hello. Am I- Did I walk in on something? Hi, Mrs. Morrison. Hey, Sally! Are you boys off to another adventure? Something like that. I think that's just so wonderful. Life is filled with potential adventures and beautiful mysteries that are just waiting to be explored and experienced. Tell that to the lady downstairs. You're totally right about that. Yeah! Just gotta seize the moment, though sometimes it's nice to relax on the couch after a long day. You know, Ray and I were just watching some television and then he passed right out like a little baby. <laughs> Isn't he the cutest? Uh, yeah. Well, I better be going. Why are you so pot? Did you have too much Addison's tea today? Nice hookah, by the way. Bathroom... Scare me? Nothing going on in here. Alright, so Todd is in 202. No one's home here. And we're gonna go up another floor. Just in case I need to grab anything. Oh, hi, Chug. Why do you look so concerned? What's wrong? I keep hearing creepy noises. Like what kind of noises? You know, creepy kinds like scratching and moaning and stuff. Maybe it's just some mice in the walls or the building cracking. It is an old building. Mice? That's not any better. I mean, I bet it's nothing. You want to hang out with me and the other guys? No, 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 it's okay. Thanks, though. I can tell you guys are up to something again. Last time I came with, I couldn't sleep for a week. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to tell you. Megan said she's sorry for scaring you. She's very sweet once you get to know her, but you kind of bolted right when she came out. I know, I mean, I, I bet she's nice. I, I tried. It's just too scary. Megan is a little ghost girl who scared the crap out of Chug. I'm surprised he still lives here. Well, if you don't want to be alone, you're always welcome to hang with us. Come on, positive mental attitude. Uh, I know. Thanks, Sally Face. All right, well, why are you standing here then? I'm waiting for my parents to get home. They should have been back already. Okay, is there anything I can do? Got any chocolate? Chocolate always makes me feel better. Uh, no, I don't got any chocolate. Got any chocolate elephants? What even is that? No, sorry, I don't have any. You weirdo. Anyone in here? What? Okay, the door just opened a crack. Hello? Is anyone home? Huh, I could have sworn someone lived here. Okay, there's something here. There's something. Whatever Chug was hearing. Something's going on in here. Another letter with my name on it. It's empty. Why? What's going on here? Hey, Chug. Careful out there. All right. David's place. David, with your doll that you're dating. 
How are you doing? You gonna wear pants today? Hey Sally Face, what you up to today? Hey David, not much, just got home from school. I thought you were on a break? The college students are on break right now, but our break doesn't start until the end of the month. Oh, gotcha! How have you and Sarah been? <laughs> Sarah, the doll over there. You know us, just a couple of love spudsies, as happy as can be, right babe? Sarah says nothing. <laughs> oh, hon, don't make me blush in front of our friend. She's just captivating. Love eats too, babe. Oh, what's that? What's what? Yeah, Sal, we've been having some trouble sleeping anymore. You know, it's funny, but I think it's cause those cabbage kids are on break. Oh, not cabbage kids. But I think it's those college kids on break. I guess we kinda got used to the noise they make. Well, they only have a couple more days of break, so everything should be back to normal soon. That's great news. Great news indeed, Sally. Well, hopefully you guys get some sleep and some, some good nights. Well, see you later. Jeez. College students, they're on break this week. Let's not go in there. I don't wanna know what those college students are up to. Last time I had to DJ their party and it was more than I bargained for. Oh. Hmm. A broken door. With the knob torn right off and what looks like a bear scratched it. I guess we're going in. <laughs> I don't wanna go in. Uh, okay. Hello, Sal. Hey, Mrs. Sanderson. How are you? I try to keep myself busy, otherwise I'll lose my mind. I fear that I'll never be able to leave these dreadful walls. You still haven't seen any bright light or anything? Unfortunately, no. I don't mean to sound ungrateful though, babe. It's much more bearable here without that horrible demon running around. It's just so terribly grim, devoid of hope. It's kind of hard to explain. I'm sorry, I wish I could help more. Todd and I have been doing a lot of research, but... Hold on a moment, love. Yes, right here, talking to me. Okay, sure, yes, okay, I understand, I will. Wait, what is she talking about? It sounds like she's talking to someone else about me. Sal, I'm meant to give something to you. Who are you just talking to? I apologize, sweetheart, I've got to go now. Please take care of yourself. But... It's a letter. It's an envelope with my name on it. Huh. It's empty. Go figure. Who's taking all my letters? Almost there, Biz. Dad! He's not at his computer. Dad's computer is on, but I don't know his password. Maybe I could figure it out. Henry Fisher. This is gonna be a toughie. Does he have any numbers laying around his room? It is 7.13, but I highly doubt the time of my presence in here is the password. Come on, daddy -o. Give me some hints. There's something under the bed. It's... It's an old photo of mom. I thought dad threw them all away. Hi, mom. I miss you. I hope you're at peace. There's a handwritten note on the back. Henry, you are my sunshine in the darkness. I can't believe we're going to have a little boy. Oh, that must be me. I'm so unbelievably happy. Everything is perfect. Love you always, Diane. That doesn't make me feel any better. And there's a sleeping aid. My dad is very stressed. He drinks. He takes sleeping aids. Maybe there's something in the living room I can use. Remote. Cat toys. Ah! Oh my god! Oops, sorry Gizmo. I didn't realize you were in here. Oh my goodness. Cover it up next time. A note. Sal, I had to go back into work again tonight. I'll be home late. There are some leftovers in the fridge if you don't eat with Lisa and Larry. I'm sorry I haven't been available much lately. Maybe we can go do something this weekend. Love, Dad. Where's my daddy been? The cat's taking baths here! Things are getting out of control. I might have to crack this code later. Robert's place. Hello? Oh. Hi, Robert. Yo, what up, little bud? Not much, just a typical day. Not bad, eh? <laughs> How have you been? Everything is straight, my man. Can't complain. All right. Well, nice meeting you. Nice knowing you. How's business? Business is great. What is it that you actually do? I sell crack cocaine. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for thanks for letting me know that. I Aren't you supposed to not tell people that? <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking with you, bud. When my granddad passed, he left everything to me. Whoa, was he a millionaire or something? Nah, but it was enough money to start up a little business I had brewing in the old noggin. I tripled that money within a year. 
From there, the company just kept growing. Now I barely do anything. Just show up once in a while to check in and do meetings and shit. That's about it, though. It's a pretty tight gig. 25 and practically retired. Well, it seems like you worked hard to get there, though. You better believe it. Busted my ass up until things took off. Just wish my pop was here to see my success. Well, I bet he's so proud of you, man. It's a huge accomplishment not many people can pull off. Thanks, little bud. You're welcome. What's with the safe? And there's money surrounding it. There's money everywhere. I don't trust banks with my money. Or any big corporations, really. Don't you own a big corporation? Well, yeah, but that's different. That belongs to me. That makes sense. Why do you live here? I mean, you could afford to live anywhere, so why live in this cheap apartment with hardly any furniture and just a mattress with no sheets? I got all I need right here. What do I need, a big old house filled with fancy things? Can't take all that shit with you when you're dead, right? It's just extra weight, weighing you down. I like to lay low, live my life doing what I like. Go whenever, wherever. No strings attached kind of lifestyle, you feel me? Yeah, I do. I think that's cool, actually. I don't know what I'd do without my TV and my video games, though. Ha! Well, you gotta do you, little bud. Everyone's different. Okay. See ya. Nice so nice seeing you, Robert. It's cute. Got any, uh, passcodes in here? Oh. Sorry about that. Put that back. Oh. I'll just fix that. Oh. No. Come on. Get up. Sorry, Robert. Didn't- I didn't mean to do that to your poster. Hmm. Hand lotion, hey? What do you, uh- I can't leave it. Alright, I guess we're, uh... Guess we're going to the top floor! I don't like it up here! Ugh, 503, it's locked. <sighs> 504, it's, uh... The 504 is tilted. Hey, what's going on in here? Oh, there's a Ouija board in there. Even with the spirit board, Megan never comes out when Todd and Ash are up here. I think she's just shy around strangers. Oh, so we've been playing with a Ouija board! Upstairs in the haunted attic. That's sat like nothing could go wrong there. It feels more peaceful in the building, since we got rid of that demon. Well, I'm sure a Ouija board won't bring him back. The bathroom with handprints. Uh, Megan's necklace. Even though she can't wear it now, she's happy to have it close by. Can I take it? Alright. Something's in the bathroom. Hey, you. Hi, Sally Face. Hey, Megan. Have you seen my daddy anywhere? No, uh, sorry. I still haven't seen him. Oh. Maybe he's passed on to a better place. I guess that's not so bad. And everybody here isn't so scared now, too. Even Mommy started talking to me a little. That's great. I'm glad she's finally speaking up to you. Me too. <laughs> I hope that Daddy is happy, wherever he is. I'm sure that he is. Oh, I forgot Mommy told me she would play hide and seek. I gotta go. See you later, Sally boy. <laughs> okay, Megan. I'll see you later. Have fun. <laughs> Give me your necklace. Old bloody bird cage. I wonder if this is related to the skull in Mrs. Packerton's desk. I hope not! Oh my goodness, if we've been eating bird in the bologna the whole time in the lunchroom. That's worse than that Simpsons episode where they're cooking kids. Anything in here? Newspaper one? There's an old newspaper clipping nailed to the wall. It's about a boy who shouldn't be alive, who survived an accident that killed both of his parents. The front page of an old newspaper, father and son go missing. It says they vanished without a trace, leaving the mother broken and alone in what was once a happy family's home. Unsettling news here. Woman and her child abducted by aliens. This has to be one of those joke papers. Right? Joke paper? Something going on beside these newspapers. A letter! It's a letter with my name on it. It's empty. Am I missing something? Who's trying to talk to me and why? We're hitting the basement. Oh, there's no chocolate in the vending machine? It's still empty? I wanted to bring Chug a present. Not a good time for going outside. Okay, you know what? It's not a good time for headbanging either. Wait, what is this? Flowers? Looks like Lisa got a bouquet of flowers from someone. There's a note. It says, get well soon. Wishing you the best. Henry. I think Larry's in there, hon. Oh, sorry. Occupido, dude! Sorry, sorry. Oh, hi, Lisa. Hi, Sal. How are you today? I'm okay. How have you been feeling? Didn't the doctor say to take it easy for a while? Oh, I'm just fine, sweetie. Don't you worry about me. Besides, we've got problems with the plumbing that need my attention. Mr. Addison has enough on his plate to worry about. I can't keep lying around all day. Is there anything we can help with, at least? Dude, don't bother trying to talk sense into my mom! You know she's even more stubborn than me! Oh, hush, my little lair bear! Mom! 
Don't call me that! <laughs> oh, you love it. Anyways, I appreciate the offer, Sal, but I can handle a little plumbing work. It's really no problem. Plus, moving around will do me some good. If you say so, just don't push yourself too hard, okay? And if you need any help, let us know. You got it, bud. Thanks, Sal. You're welcome. Are you a ghost? You're not? Okay. Just making sure. Let's go and check on Todd. I'm gonna tell him I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I've tapped into the security cameras and we'll be able to loop footage of the empty hallway until you two get back. Be careful. Okay. Going into Packerton's house, we just picked her lock. Got it! Nice. We should go quick before she gets back. <sighs> okay. Dude, it smells like ass in here. Ass and old feet. Good lord, we better make this a short visit. I can't take that stench for too long. Check out that painting. What if Packerton really does just work on a farm? I don't know, that painting gives me a weird feeling. Like a cold chill. Oh, yeah. I feel it too. Let's look around. I'll take this way, you take that way. Bedroom one? It's locked. And there's some weird mechanism on the doorknob. Why is she so secretive? She lives alone, no? Why does she have a lock on her door? What about this clock? Hmm, the clock hands are stuck at three... 3.14. If I try to move them, they just go right back. What is with Mrs. Packerton and Pi? Damn, it's locked. The radio. It's a neat old radio, but it won't turn on. It must be broken. Ooh, who's this? Is that you, Mrs. Packerton? Back in your finer days? Dry bum bums? Hugums? Dry bum bums? Are these diapers? There's a big thing of diapers. Do you think Mrs. Packerton uses them for herself? Is she doing a little poo poo in her pants? Probably, dude. Packerton's ancient. Huh. Something I didn't need to know. There's an F on the paper, better not be mine. Why are there diapers here? Hello? When's the last time she cleaned this bathroom? Why is there green slime in the drain? Is that a turd in the toilet? Oh, gross, there's a big old log in there. What is going on? Larry, what's going on in here? Anything strange in the fridge? No, looks like normal groceries and stuff, but there's a padlock on the freezer. What? Can you get it open? Yeah, just give me a minute. Ugh, love you, Larry. Freezer. Oh, what's in here? It's filled with rolls of bologna along with some frozen vegetables and other various food. Nothing out of place, really. Why does she bring so much bologna here? Got it! Oh, okay. <sighs> Are you ready to open this freezer? I don't know if I am. All right, let's open it up. Ah, why? Why would you keep it? Are those pentagrams? I knew it. You knew what? It is goats! I fucking called that shit, man! Also, gross. I feel like it can't be that simple. Let's see if we can get into those bedrooms. All right. We're not just gonna look and see a goat head and be like, case closed, I'm going home. We're not doing that, Larry. This is a bizarre lock, dude. I'm not sure if I can pick it, but I'll keep trying. I'm nervous about this one. We have to look around before Mrs. Packerton gets back. Okay, we can't leave, so we have to find something. I don't know what, though. 1047. Interesting. Wait, is that blood on the floor? Why is there blood on the floor? Okay, I just took out the gear, boy. I'm standing over the blood, and there's an issue. There is an issue! The goat! Um, hi, little buddy. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry about what happened to you, but why is your, like, what in the hell was that? Uh, a ghost goat, apparently. That probably shouldn't be surprising to me at this point, but I definitely did not see that coming. Wait, the radio's on. Why's the radio on? Okay, so we can change the station, and on the goat's tag it said 1047, so let's try that. Now. Larry, any luck? This is a badar- This is a badar hawk move. Okay. Clock is moving. Okay, so let's change this. 10, 1047. Come on, baby. Can we get it open? No? Can we get this open? Come on. Maybe our little goat friend has something to say about that. Hey, goat. Answer me. Answer me, goat. We need a hint. Okay, it's the same. How do I solve this? Do I actually have to learn how to talk goat? All right, come on. Talk to me, buddy. Say something important. Hey there, Mr. Goat. Ba. Ba, ba. Ba. 
Bah, bah. One, two, one, two. It sounded like he said yeah at the end. I think he agrees. Uh, come on, come on. Yeah! Huh, that unlocked the first bedroom. Let's check it out. There's someone in here. Ah! Hello? Uh, Mr. Packerton? Hello? I don't think he hears you, dude. You're right, he looks like he's in some kind of vegetative state. Man, this is fucked and definitely where that rancid smell is coming from too. Yuck. Let's get a quick look around and then get out of here. But first I just wanna go over here. Oh boy. Are you okay? Young child, please help me. How can you be? Are, are you dead? I am in between, suffering for what seems like an eternity! Did Mrs. Packerton do this to you? We were in love once, or so I thought. Yes, this is her doing. Please, you must help me escape the endless agony. What's in the baloney? Baloney? I'm afraid I don't know much about that. Okay, well, I'm leaving. No, no, stay. This room is my prison, my tomb of infinite sorrow. I can never leave in this state. How can I help you? You must unplug this horrid machine. Isn't that... Wouldn't that... It will end my suffering. It'll free me of this torment. Uh, but... Uh, are you sure? I, this is a big decision for me. Please, child, I beg of you. You must hurry before she returns. Oh! Oh, I'm gonna do it. I have to. I can't leave him here. I can't leave him here like this. I'm doing it. Larry, get your things and let's get out of here. I hope that was the right thing to do. You didn't have a choice, man. That poor guy was in so much pain. It's what he wanted. Yeah, okay, I, I guess so. I just... Oh, shit, she's back. Quick, behind the dresser. No. If we don't make it out alive, I... I love you, dude. I love you too, man. You're the best friend I've ever had, you know? Same to you, little bud. I hear her footsteps. Sorry to ruin the moment, but what the hell is this place? Ashley! You scared the crap out of us! I can see that. <laughs> Man, am I glad to see you, Ash. I thought we were done for. I thought you had to watch Benjamin. My dad came home early, so I rode over here straight away. Sorry for giving you guys a scare. I... Is that Mr. Packerton? Is he? It was him. He's gone now. He's finally at peace. Damn. And please don't tell me this is what's going into the baloney. I hope not. I'm not sure. There's still one room we haven't looked in yet. We need to get in there before we leave. Oh, check this out. While we were hiding, I found this key ring under the dresser. Now you mention the key ring, Larry. One of these keys has to open that other bedroom. Let's check it out. Anything to get out of this room. Come on, boys. We're in. What in the... Oh my god. I... I don't... What's with all the missing posters and the hacksaws and the weird device thing? It's like some kind of slaughter factory in here. Another damn combo lock. This room gives me the creeps, man. <sighs> Guys, help me. Do you think it's three, four, one, four backwards? So if it's three, then I would count the big ones and use it two. So I think it's two, four, or one, four. Let's uh, give it a try. Come on, please. Hey. I didn't even notice the blood prints. No. Maybe it's one, four, one, three. Hey, that's pie backwards. Huh. Hey! What's in here? Whoa! Larry! We... We're in way over our heads here. We need to get help. There are no bones. Why are there no bones? What? There aren't any bones in here. It's all just meat. Dude, no, come on. Larry, Ash is right. We should get help. 
Don't you see? There's no one who can help us. Every time something happens here, it's covered up. The cult, Luke, Charlie, Mrs. Sanderson. Who knows what else this place has hidden? We can't trust the cops and we can't tell our parents because they'll want to go to the police. They haven't believed anything we've told them about. Then what do we do? I don't know, man. Things just keep getting worse. Packerton's chopping people up and serving them to... Oh, I don't think I'll ever look at baloney the same again. Well? Well, what? You asked why I don't eat bologna, and I've told you why. Of all of the fantastical stories you like to spin, you're really not going to tell us what happened next? Why bother? You probably don't believe what I've set up until now anyways. The story just seems more unbelievable from this point. Plus, you're probably gonna cut it up and make it sound like a lunatic on TV. Give us the rest of this story, and we'll air it in its entirety without cuts, I promise you. Why do I not believe that? I heard you mention Todd Morrison's name before we started. Did you visit him? They won't tell me anything here. Yes, we shot a segment on him yesterday. Is he okay? Is he still... in the hospital? I'll tell you what, you finish the baloney story and I'll tell you about Todd. <sighs> okay. Alright guys, there's still some baloney story left, but I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sally Face is just, uh, mwah, it's just amazing. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. Bye! <laughs>